What's up guys? I am here just looking, I don't know, wild and crazy. So I'm gonna do this really cute look and I'm gonna start off with just doing my hair and putting my contacts in. So yesterday I wore these contacts from TTDI in Egypt brown they're called. They honestly look more like greenish than anything but I really like them so I'm gonna throw those in. Alright, so now that that is done, first thing that I got really in this haul is a new mirror. And this is one of those ones that has the lights around it. I need to get batteries for it, but I'm really excited about this. I'm still going to use it without the batteries. Oh, and it adjusts. So cute. Okay, I love it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do my hair first. I'm going to show you guys my favorite way to install this wig now. It's like the easiest thing ever. So let's do that. I'm just going to move you guys up a little bit. All right, and I'm just sitting here cozy. I'm wearing my little flannel. I got this from Vans. So I might be, I might be rushing through some of these parts, but y'all get, we'll get the juice. I'm gonna just go ahead and straighten these little pieces because although my wig is a full lace front I actually like leaving these pieces out and I don't put the ear tabs down I'll show you guys exactly what I do because I feel like it's the easiest thing literally in the world What I do for this is I flip this part under and then I use a black bobby pin and I just stick this in. I got the door open you guys so if you can hear like birds and stuff, that's why. Don't worry about this part because I'm gonna be wearing my hair like parted perfectly like this so you're really not gonna see that. I'm gonna take another black bobby pin. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, and then the only part of my wig that I'm actually gonna be laying down is this front part here. And the rest, honestly, I don't need it. Because I want my wig to like properly stay on my head, I am gonna use a little bit of this got to be insta hold and I'm gonna just spray the part. I'm also gonna use a rat tail comb to press this down. is good don't worry about how you can see the bald cap here I'm gonna hide that afterwards I'm just gonna stick down this front part too This part has a little bit of like residue from previous glue, but it honestly doesn't matter because I'm doing my hair swooped like this. So really the only part that I care about is this part here and it looks fine to me. I didn't 
put my hot comb in, so I'm just gonna use my flat iron and press this part down a little bit at the back. I'm gonna fix the part here. See how you can see my wig cap right here? I'm just gonna fix that. Taking a little bit of my Kylie concealer, this is in the shade Cedar. I don't like my part being too light, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of eyeshadow from my KKW palette. And to me, that's perfect. I mean, let's be honest, it's not completely unclockable, but do I care? No. It still looks cute, and that was like so easy to install. Yesterday, I put a little clip in my hair here, and I thought it looked really cute, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Just gonna use a little bit of got to be and I just wanna make a little swoop on this side. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit and I'm gonna try to replicate the look that I did yesterday or something similar. I got some new goodies, so let's go on. I was just looking a little busted with that flannel on and I just feel like this is so much cuter. You can really see what my hair looks like now. So let's go ahead and do my makeup now. So we are gonna be using some new makeup. I'm gonna get into all this stuff. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff from Sephora. And yeah, I just, I love playing with new makeup. I really picked up everything from like lip products to primers to setting sprays to eyeshadow palettes. So this is gonna be fun. First thing I got that I wanna put on is my Too Faced Lip Injections. This is the Maximum Plump and it's so pretty. It has this like iridescent kind of pinkish color. But the reason that I love it is because it really does plump my lips up. I used to be obsessed with this stuff and I kind of forgot about it after I ran out recently and I stopped buying it. But we're gonna have to get back on that because I love it. I feel like the trick is you really have to like load it on. And to be honest, I don't just put it on my lips. I kind of put it around my lips a little bit because it really does work to enlarge your lips. I already can feel them burning. The thing I got was this Milk Hydrogrip Primer. I already love this stuff, but I needed more. I really, really like this stuff. And honestly, I was never a primer girl. I was always like, eh. I don't know if I like primer, I don't know if I notice a difference, but since using this, I love it. I feel like it really makes my makeup stick. It feels very hydrating. Did you guys ever put your new stuff back in the box? I'm so obsessed. I don't know why I do that. It's like I want to keep it new for a while. You guys, look at how much bigger my lips look already. <laughs> I feel like they look very plump. So yes, the Too Faced stuff does work, like wow. And this is why I said I kind of like putting it around my lips, even though it looks kind of silly right now. When I wipe it off and I do my lipstick, it's gonna look so good. One of the things that I'm really excited about that I got is the Morphe Madison Beer palette. I like the palette, it's so cute. Look. Oops. Yeah. Such a cute palette. It has really good neutrals, a good variety. I do have my KKW palette that I really like, but I just wanted something with a little bit more variation. I'm not really actually gonna go crazy with my shadows today, but I am gonna play with this a little bit. So I'm excited about that. And it has a mirror on it, you guys. Yeah, I'm happy I bought this. It was like $28 or something. Very good price. I 
pretty much never do anything with my brows. I always just apply brow gel, but I felt like a brow pencil could be fun because I haven't had one in so long. I got the medium brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just gonna fill my brows in a little bit to start with. taking my Kylie Cosmetics concealer in the color Cedar. And that's all I'm really gonna do with that. I don't always start with foundation, but I am going to today. Um, I'm using my Face & Body C7. I got quite a tan this summer, so this is better for me lately. And closer to the inside of my face, I'm doing C5 because it's a bit more golden. And I'm just gonna blend this out with my foundation brush. Lately, I don't really like doing too much full coverage. Um, I just like something light. The reason I'm not using a beauty blender for this is also because the foundation is so light coverage that if I use a beauty blender, it basically just disappears. So I'm using a brush because I just want to be able to apply it with a little bit more coverage. I always do cream bronzer. This is the Clinique. Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. I really like this wand. I was skeptical at first of this just because, because I don't really like Clinique complexion products, but it's quite nice actually. And then before blending it out, I'm gonna use my Kylie Cosmetics Concealer and Cedar. I always blend the contour first, but I don't know why I just decided to start doing the concealer on my chin. That was weird. But yeah, I always blend the contour first, so let's just stick to regular programming and do that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer. So I know I still have like some discoloration in here, but I don't really care. I'm not really a full coverage girl, so it really doesn't bother me like that. Another new product I got was the Laura Mercier. This is the Honey Translucent Powder, and I'm excited to use this one because I didn't I think I've ever had this color. I usually always just get like regular translucent. It's just like the right shade. powder in for my bronzer I picked up the Fenty Beauty bronzer in caramel Q 
cutie. Such a nice color. I love how golden it is. So I'm gonna use a huge brush for this and just grab some. really go to town bronzing but that's just me so I'm actually gonna use my bronzer a little bit on my eyes today kind of just in this area here because it helps my nose contour so I flick it up into my brow and then down slightly along the side of my nose Yesterday I went to the mall and I had such a nice time. I just went shopping by myself and oh, it was so like satisfying. I don't know. Sometimes you just need a little you time. I feel like what I really need is girl time, but I don't really have any girlfriends here um, anymore. Everybody that like I was super close friends with was from back home and they're all back there right now because COVID been effing everything up. I do find that I get a lot more done when I don't have friends around. <laughs> so it's a good thing, I think. For my nose contour, I am putting my Laura Mercier Honey Translucent and then I'm just leaving the darker area. I'm gonna let that sit for a while and then I'm gonna dust it off later. I'm trying to make my nose look snatched. I am just gonna take a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is a medium deep. I don't know how they call this medium deep. It's so light, but whatever. And I'm gonna use this just in here. to kind of blend in my bronzer and also just cover just a little bit of that pigmentation. I don't really have any on this side, but I'm gonna just use it for the same purpose, just to blend the bronzer. Perfect. I don't really wanna to do too crazy of a look, nothing too wild, but I definitely am feeling these mattes. So I really wanna play with this color here. And I don't know, we'll just take it from there. Ooh, pigmentation is nice on these. Yeah, what I was talking about was just not really having a lot of friends around. It definitely helps me get more stuff done. I feel like I've been super productive with making videos and the other reason that I've been more productive is because I got a new camera, which I'm so happy about because I was recording everything from my iPhone, you guys. like my iPhone. I'm not gonna lie to you, if you're just starting out and you can't really invest in a camera right off the rip, I highly suggest just going in with your iPhone because it'll do the job and once you can prove to yourself that you're gonna be consistent, then invest in a camera. Okay, so this is only one color and it's so pretty. I can't remember who I learned this technique from, but ever since I started doing a little bit of eyeshadow like up in here to the brow, mm, my eye makeup just elevated so high. I know I'm skipping palettes, but I'm just gonna take this one from KKW just cause I just wanna blend this just like right up in here. There, just to brighten it a bit. Honestly, I'm not really gonna do much more than this. I really like how this looks. Do I want to do a shimmer? I'm just so into the math. Let's do some eyeliner.
a bit more chatty during my videos but honestly I don't know like what to really say sometimes because I'm really actually quite a private person I don't really like talking about my personal life really to anybody um, I feel like it's kind of hard to get to know me sometimes because I don't share a lot about myself um, even like in friendships it takes a lot of time before I'm like willing to really share things with people I don't wear these they are the Ioni lashes I think they're called like wispy doll or something like that i'll link them below um these lashes are so cute and they're so affordable as i was saying it takes me a really long time to open up even with friendships and to me that kind of just feels normal but i know that that's not normal to everybody although i think some people really be just like opening up way too much to people they don't know i don't like that but to each his own honestly and um, I feel like that's something that like I have to learn to do a little bit more um, with my presence on YouTube is just be like a bit more personable. I don't think I'm really gonna get on here and tell you all my life story or anything, but just try to be more personable, try to like talk about the person I am or like my experiences a little bit more because I really appreciate that from everybody else and it's funny that like the thing I appreciate the most is the thing I'm like not willing to give. Ooh, these lashes. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, these lashes are super bold. They're kind of wild. I mean, they're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but I love them. One of the last few things that I got from Sephora New was this Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. Is that what it's called? Soft Pinch Blush. And this one is the dewy one. I'm not gonna lie, I actually wanted the matte one, but they didn't have it in a color that I liked. So I went ahead and got this color, which is Joy. It's like a soft pinky peach. I'm gonna just take my little brush here and just kind of stipple that. And then stipple that on my cheeks. Ooh, pigment, pigment, pigment. Let's blend it with my sponge. <gasps> this color's so pretty. I like a lot of blush, as you guys can probably already tell. And every time I try not to do this, I always end up doing it. I just can't help it. I have to put blush on the bridge of my nose. Even though I went ahead and did a whole nose contour, I just have to. It's just what I have to do. I love doing freckles. I'm gonna do the spiked shape and shade brow pen from MAC and just do a few little freckles. I can't help it. This is also another thing that like, I swear, I tried to give it up. I tried to stop, but I just can't. I just, I have to do this with my makeup. My makeup does not feel complete. Honestly, I don't even think MAC sells this anymore, but this is the Hyperglow Foundation. I don't know why they called it a foundation because it's not a foundation. It is definitely a highlighter, but regardless, I'm going to use it. So I'm just putting some on my hand here. And then we're going to pop it on my cheek. my lips i'm gonna spray with a new morphe continuous setting spray another new pickup from my haul yesterday and i just saw this a lot of people were using this and honestly it looked so good like it looked so just it would lock you in really good so i'm excited to try it mm. wow that felt amazing. I feel like I need more on this side. How can I forget mascara? I often actually like not putting mascara in my bottom eyelashes, but if I do, it has to be the extended play by MAC. I'm just 
gonna do a little bit of this. I really love this color. This is the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in Impulsive. They're kind of moussey, so even though I already have lip gloss on and it's weird that I'm putting this on top, I feel like it works. It's kind of like a cute peach color. I'm gonna leave it like that and just add my Lippy Lab. I think this is um, semi-sweet lip gloss. I don't remember the name. So my loves, this is the finished look. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this look, but the haul is not over. I had a whole bunch of goodies from Zara. So let's try on my Zara goodies. And yeah, you guys can, this is gonna be quick. I'm just gonna show you guys what I bought, but I'm really happy with everything that I picked out and everything that I got. So let's hope everything fits me. So let's jump in to trying on my goodies. Okay, so I didn't completely go off in Zara. I got like five or six things. I feel like these are gonna be good transitional pieces from summer to fall. Uh, the weather has been kind of chilly lately, but it is gonna get hot again. So I just wanna have cute stuff and I'm really trying to upgrade my style. I just want it to be a little bit more classy, still kind of sexy, but very like mature woman. So I feel like Zara is perfect for that. Um, yeah, let me try all my goodies on. So this is the first thing I got, this dress. I'm gonna show you guys a better view in a minute, but she is so cute. I really like I said, I've been trying to go for a classy lady, so let me just show y'all what she looks like. So cute. I love this little dress. I feel like she's gonna be perfect for just like going out for a day look, a little bag, some cute little either flats or I could wear a little kitten heel with these and yeah it's so cute like I like things that are very versatile so I can wear it to just go and do errands and I can also wear it going to dinner or going to the park hanging with the fam whatever so this is so cute okay so this next one is another dress it has sort of a collared neckline and it's a ribbed material Super cute, nice and long. I got this one in a medium, unlike the last, which was in a small, but let's show you guys. I love this dress again just another staple piece that you can wear casually you can dress her up you can dress her down just really really cute a little bit of cleavage going on at the front i could just wear a less accentuating bra and that could be fixed um but yeah i love it perfect summer piece i got her in black because it's just a little bit more casual that way um and I feel like black dresses you can wear over and over and over again. So it's like the perfect staple in your closet. Love it. Okay, I just have a couple more things to show you. So let me try them on. Okay, so the next item is this cute little top. It's kind of like a little tennis top. Just something really cute and casual. Again, dress it up, dress it down. You can kind of just throw it on. And I did get this one in a larger size because I wanted it to fit a bit more comfortably. This is in a large. Again, just has a little collar. It's a rip material, super cute. They had loads of colors in this. And then I also got these jeans, which I love these jeans. I just love the color. It's like a really nice, almost grayish blue. They do have rips at the knees. I got these in a size six, length 38. I feel like I almost could have gotten them in a size eight, um, just because they're kind of tight on my butt, but they fit everywhere else. The height of them is not super high-waisted, so I feel like they're perfect 
for like a comfortable jean. Love the jeans. And the last piece that I got is this little throwover. This is so cute. It's like such a nice color. I'm really into this neutral, kind of grayish looking color palette lately. I just, I saw this and I thought it was adorable. It's a little like high low detailing here. Really perfect for just throwing on. I think it's like kind of reminds me of a flannel, but it's like a step up. Cute. And honestly, my sizing was all over the place because I got this one in a large, but sorry, I got this one in a extra small but i got it a little smaller because i don't want it to be too oversized but yeah anyway guys that is it for this haul video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed everything from the hair the makeup to the mini haul that i did from zara I don't know what it is about Zara, but I feel like it's so hard to shop their clothing online. So if I can figure out what the name of all these items are, I will include that in the description along with all the other details. So check that out if you want to know what exactly I used in this video. And make sure you let me know down below in the comments what you think of this makeup look and all the new goodies that I used. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!